Good day, Masinlok Zambales. Good day to our dear learners from grade 7. This is Masinlok School on the Air here at Sir Vision Putog Radio, DWSP 101.5 News FM. This is your on-air teacher, Clarissa Marie Camara from Bamba National High School, and I will be your teacher facilitator for today. Before we start the lesson, I would like to acknowledge our Department of Education, Division of Zambales, especially the writer of our learning activity sheet, Sir Ray Anthony A. Miguel, from Subi. Learners, please prepare your notebook and pen to take down notes all important ideas from the lesson. Find a comfortable place where you can listen and study properly. Welcome to Technology and Livelihood Education. This is an exciting journey to learn on how to identify and select materials and tools used in shielded metal arc welding or the SMAO. We will now be entering the first week of the second quarter of this school year. Grade 7 TLE offers different exploratory courses. It is based on the four components such as home economics, agriculture and fisheries, industrial arts, and ICT. Bamba National High School is offering the exploratory course Shielded Metal Arc Welding from Industrial Arts. Today's lesson is all about identifying and selecting materials and tools used in SMAO. Be familiar with the different materials and tools and how it is being used. At the end of the lesson, you will be able to 1. Demonstrate an understanding of the preparation of SMAO materials and tools. Number 2. Familiarize with different SMAO tools and materials. And number 3. Perform measurement and calculations. I prepared a short activity before we proceed to our discussion. All you must do is to classify the tool used in shielded metal arc welding according to its purpose. Let's get started. A hammer. Is it a measuring tool or a driving tool? Correct! It is used for driving objects like nails. Next, a tri-square. It is a driving tool or a measuring tool? Brilliant! A tri-square is a measuring tool. A tong. Is it for holding or cutting? Amazing! A tong is a holding tool. Lastly, a C-clamp. Is it a driving tool or a holding tool? Perfect! A C-clamp is a holding tool. Now, you've got all the correct answer. I know that you are ready for the discussion. It is very important to learn and master on how to use the different materials and tools used in shielded metal arc welding. This will help you to prepare the correct materials and tools to be used in a specific job. It saves time and effort and makes tasks easy to accomplish. This will also prevent you from accident, especially during the task. Always remember, prevention is better than cure. Learning the different purposes of the materials and tools can give you efficient work and effective output. Let us now study the uses of hand tools and shielded metal arc welding. There are four classifications of tools. The measuring tools, driving tools, cutting tools, and holding tools. The measuring tools are the tools used to get the accurate measurement of something needs to be measured. The driving tools are the tools used to drive objects like nails in fastening objects like woods. The cutting tools are the tools used to cut or separate parts from a hole. And the holding tools are the tools used to hold objects that needs not to move during work. Here are some of the measuring tools. One is the popular pull-push rule. This is the common measuring tool used by a welder or even a carpenter, plumber, and others. A pull-push rule tape that coils into a compact case. It is used for measuring long and short straight lengths. The steel tape is like a pull-push rule, except for its flexible number of feet that are marked on the tape. The tape is 3.8 inch wide and available in lengths from 25 to 100 feet. 
the steel rule is used to measure short lengths. It can measure up to 6 to 12 inches or the same style can measure 48 inches. A tri-square is very essential in woodworking. It will help you to determine the 90 degrees of an object. A combination square is an instrument combined with 45 degrees, 90 degrees, and a protractor. The other measuring instruments are dividers, micrometer caliper, and vernier caliper. Let us proceed to driving tools. Remember, driving tools are the tools used to drive objects like nails and fastening to objects like woods. Here are some of the driving tools. Hammers. The hammers are used for strengthening, bending, and deforming metals. It has two faces. One is flat in striking cold chisels and punches. The other side of the pin is rounded for bending and shaping metals. Ball pin hammer generally has a wood or fiberglass handle measuring 10 to 16 inches long. Head weight ranges from 2 to 48 ounces. A 20 ounce hammer is good for general purpose. It used for removing slag on weld and with two faces. The tapered from one side and round pointed on the other side. Wrenches are used for loosening and tightening light and heavy nuts and bolts. An adjustable wrench is a type of wrench that has a movable jaw which makes it adjustable to various sizes of nuts. A heavy type of adjustable wrench is the monkey or pipe wrench. Oxyacetylene wrench, a type of wrench used for tightening hose and fitting connection on oxyacetylene unit. Let us now study the different holding tools. Clamps are devices have been designed to hold work securely which perform skills through grinding, bending, fitting, and cutting of metals. The toolmaker clamp is used for holding small parts both at the bench and at the machine. This tool is also known as parallel clamp. The C clamp is an all-purpose clamp that is generally used for all kinds of work. The D-reel vise is a sturdy steel vise with a movable jaw that easily goes back or forth by raising the handle. The machinist vise is a work holding tool for machining activity. The vise grip is a tool used to grip the stock tight enough to hold the object. The tongue is used to hold the metal to be forged and must be held securely while working. The hand vise V block with a clamp is used to hold metal stock for small machining operation. The pliers are used for holding, cutting, and twisting wires. There are various types of pliers such as combination plier, long nose plier, side cutting plier, and slip joint plier or mechanical plier. Let us now proceed to cutting tools. Again, cutting tools are the tools used to cut or separate parts from a hole. The hacksaw. The hacksaw is a tooth cutting tool mainly used in cutting metals like blades, pipes, rods, bars, angular, etc. but of minimal thickness with end length. Sometimes, this tool is used for cutting plastic pipes and other materials that suit to its purpose. The files. Files are made of high-grade steel which are hardened and tempered. Each file has rows of teeth that form shape and finish metal by removing small chips and smoothing rough edges of the metal surface. They are different in length, shape, cut, and coarseness. There are different kinds of files. The mill file. A mill file is a single cut file used 
for filing and finishing brass and bronze. The flat file. A flat file is usually rectangular in shape and tapered slightly in width and thickness. It is one of the most commonly used files for general work. The square file is intended for filing square or rectangular holes. The round file is used primarily for enlarging holes. The half round file is used for filing curved or concave surfaces. The triangular file. The triangular file is used for filing surfaces that meet at least 90 degrees. It is exclusively used for sharpening wood saws and for smoothening rectangular opening. It is also known as three square file. Another kind of cutting tool is the cold chisel. Cold chisels are wedge-shaped tools used to shear, cut, and chip metal. Flat chisel is used for chipping flat surfaces. Cutting of rivets or metal fasteners, thin sheets, and small bars, and for general purposes. Cape chisel has a narrow edge suited for cutting narrow grooves or slats. Diamond point chisel has a diamond shape cutting edge intended to cut big grooves. Round nose chisel has a round nose cutting edge for cutting round and semicircular grooves. Another group of cutting tools used in shelled metal arc welding is the scrapers. Scrapers are used in removing points, bursts, and sharp edges from metal surface and similar parts. This tool is made of hardened steel of various shapes that fit according to each purpose. The different types of scrapers are flat scraper. Flat scraper is used for the removal of the high spot on metal surface. Sharper scraper. Sharper scraper is used for scraping the surface of cylindrical bearing when fitting shafts into place. The last kind of cutting tool is the punch. Punch is a tool usually in the form of a short rod of steel that is variously shaped at one end for different operations, such as forming, perforating, embossing, or cutting. It has two types. The prick punch is a small center punch, which is also known as a layout puncher. Its point is placed at an angle of 30 degrees. And the center punch, it has one end guard to a 90 degrees conical point. Remember the four classification of tools used in shell metal arc welding. The measuring tools, cutting tools, driving tools, and holding tools. The measuring tools are pull push rule, steel tape, steel rule, tri square, combination square, micrometer caliper, vernier caliper, and dividers. The cutting tools are hacksaw, mill file, flat file, square file, round file, half round file, triangular file, flat chisel. Cape chisel, diamond point chisel, round nose chisel, flat scraper, sharper scraper, brick punch, and center punch. The driving tools are ball pin hammer, chipping hammer, an adjustable wrench, and oxyacetylene wrench. The holding tools are C clamp, toolmaker clamp, drill vise. Machinist vise, vise grip, tong, hand vise B block with clamp, combination plier, long nose plier, side cutting plier, and slip joint plier or mechanical plier. Class, aside from knowing the different tools used in shell metal arc welding, always remember to ask help from the elders when using the tools. Remember. Use a right tool and materials for the specific job. This is to promote safety during work and can easily finish the job with ease and accuracy. 
To our dear parents and guardians, thank you for your continuous providing support and help to our beloved learners. We are open for your questions regarding on our lessons. Just send a message to us through our cell phone numbers and class group chat. Once again, this is Clarissa Marie Camara, your radio teacher from Bamba National High School. God bless us all and thank you.